Welcome, Cancers. I'm back, y'all, with another video. Right off the bat, guys, I'm feeling like some of y'all Cancers feel like, oh, I need a drink. I could go for a drink. Or I need a vacation. Oh, I could just, oh. <clears throat> I need to relax my mom. Get some things off of my mind. Like, I'm getting that type of vibe. Like, I'm just getting that. Like, something could have just been, like, uh, over the top. All right, so let's. Let's get the energy for you guys. If you are new, I am the Empress. Thank you for being here with me today. This is going to be a general reading. So it may or may not resonate. If it happens to resonate, all the better. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. All right? So give me some energy for Cancer. What's going on with the Cancer? How much do we have for cancer? Ooh. All right. So you just woke up and realized that, yeah, it's time to swerve. It's time to swerve, okay? So swerve is to change a direction abruptly, not interested, to send for a loop, dodging someone, or to dismiss. Okay? Some of y'all, like I said, some of y'all have come just realize woke up and realized like yeah it's time to make a move okay maybe there were an exchange in words with the texter here and it was something high key like it was it was yeah it was something you put it something out there in the open you made it obvious you made it very clear that what you said is what you meant okay you woke up and you swerved in the next lane okay you swerved in the next lane you dodging somebody, you're, you know, avoiding uh, someone, or you just decide to, like, look, this this lane right here is in my lane. Let's, let me go in my lane, okay? So, we got gassed. All right, so you could have gotten gassed, or somebody gassed you, or you got somebody. But, um... Maybe you're getting applauded and cheered on. You're getting compliments. You're getting support. You're being encouraged, possibly by a group of followers. Okay, so maybe you have gained a following. All right. Yeah, you look, you are bouncing. You're leaving a situation. You are leaving a situation behind. You swerved in another lane. You're going where the love and the compliments, and you're going where that is because the situation, you're looking at it as trash. You threw something completely in the trash, okay? A low-class person, not worth trying, nonsense, poor quality, worthless, or useless. It looks like some of y'all are trying to get Insta-famous, okay? You're trying to get your followers up. Some of y'all are coming off as, we got thirsty and basic. Some of y'all may have people trying to, like, get at you all the time and be all in your space, all in your space, want to communicate with you, message you. We got love bombing. Okay, it looks like somebody gassed somebody up. Somebody got gassed. Okay, somebody pressed the gas on the love bombing thing. Somebody got manipulated. Somebody was being tricked by um, the hugs and kisses, being showered with attention, but really somebody has some hidden intentions, okay? What else? Oh, gosh. We got low-key, viral, okay? So low-key is something, you know, that you're not announcing. You're treating it with little emphasis. It's secret. Is it something that could be a secret? You're not showing your hand or there's hidden info. Okay, this could have something to do with social media because we do have the viral card here. Okay. Somebody's a little salty, but I feel like, tell me more. Give me a little bit more. Tell me a little bit more. Netflix and chill, finesse. Okay, so there is a date. It looks like some type of date. Or you guys are Netflixing and chilling, okay? But we got finesse right here. Maybe you're trying to finesse. Getting something in a slick way. Smoothing things out. Stealing, buttering up, persuading, or being charming. Tell me more. Insta-famous, yeah. Somebody is definitely trying to get Insta-famous. 
I feel like it's you guys. You guys could be trying to get Insta famous or you are Insta famous. You have a huge following. And then we got adulting. Okay, so you and then we have fear of missing out. Okay, so maybe you have a fear of missing out on being famous, insta famous, because of your adult life. You know, um, you have to be mature and be responsible, but it's like you really want to be like, Yeah, you know, rock out with this insta famous lifestyle, but you know, low key. You may feel like, I feel like y'all are switching lanes, okay? Because the situation may have been gassed up and it turned out to be trash, okay? So it's kind of like you're kind of like chilling. I'm getting like maybe you're dating or you're chilling. Like I don't see something too serious, but I see you trying to balance out your adult life with your responsibilities and then balance out your fun life, okay? And I'm seeing that. And maybe some of you are having a fear that you're missing out on something or you're missing an opportunity or you feel pressured to make some type of decision. So some of you may not be dating currently. We got flatlined and tendering. So maybe you cut someone off or you're just not dating. You've been staying at home, kind of low key. Um, you know, I'm getting, I mean, that's the energy that I'm getting. Like you're kind of like... You're done with something. You're done with something. But I see you trying to get a balance on your fun life and your adult life. I feel like you had to cut something off. Let's pull from the tarot and let's see what's what. for cancer let me know what's going on with the cancer please what's going on with the cancer what's going on with cancer what's going on with cancer what's going on with cancer tell me you need cancer's energy all right so we got the eight of wands and the hermit yeah i feel like some of y'all have been in hermit mode or you're getting ready to go in hermit mode you're giving something some thought about your past okay you're looking at your past you're giving it some thought you may decide to change your mind about something but it looks like something ended okay so let's see it looks like some type of connection ended okay now we got the knight of cups the eight of cups ten of pentacles and the nine of cups Yeah, I see you feeling a little overwhelmed. Like, this Ten of Wands energy is overwhelmed energy. Why is the Nine of Cups here? And I see you trying to balance this. You're trying to find a balance in the past, the recent past. You were trying to find a balance. Could be in your finances. Could be in a relationship. It could be pertaining to a family member. It could be a mother or an aunt or loved one here. Or a baby mother, baby father. But something is a burden. Like you feel like something is too much. Why is the Nine of Cups here? I feel like some of y'all just want to be kind of like left alone right now. You need time to think, okay? King of Swords. Some of y'all need time to think. You're unsure about something. Um, you're unsure what to do about a situation. I see like maybe someone could be asking you for something that's making you feel like you need to like run off. Like you don't want to be bothered with something, okay? You need time to think. All right, so the Eight of Cups, the challenge is walking away. All right, so emotionally walking away from a situation, physically walking away from a situation. 
yeah, like I feel like you want to start, you want to redo, you want to start something over. But for now, it's on hold. I feel like some of y'all walked away from a situation. Um, I feel like some of y'all walked away from a situation. Now the Knight of Cups is here. All right, so. Until you get some good news, I see you kind of like isolating yourself, um, giving yourself time to think, okay? Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah, you need something to celebrate. You want to go out and have some fun. You want to have different options there with that Seven of Cups. You want to have different options. I'm getting like a multitude of options. Yeah, I feel like until you get the news, some good news, or until you feel like it's something for you to be happy or sporadic about, excited about, you're kind of like taking some time off to clear your head, get your thoughts together. You walked away from a situation. It was challenging for you to walk away from that situation, but I see you guys needing to balance your life out, okay? Have some balance. Yeah, for some of you, there was talks about a divorce or a separation. It looks like it looks like somebody like legit like why is the knight of swords here? Yeah, it's like you're a situation was giving you a headache. <laughs> Could be what a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the Queen of Cups here. I feel like this connection was, it had its, it had its good points here with the Ten of Cups. And then again, it has its down times, its challenges, which was the Five of Wands energy here. This person could have made you upset in some type of way and made you change your mind about something. I feel like you could be kind of looking at the situation uh, back at it now with a little regrets. Because I'm getting a lot of ego here. Somebody let their ego get in the way. Okay. For sure. Somebody let their ego get in the way. Now it looks like moving forward. The energy is the 10 of wands. So something is uh, over. Okay. We got a strength card. Could be dealing with the Leo. But tell me why the strength card is here. Somebody's too proud. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody has too much confidence or you feel like somebody has too much authority or too much power. Yeah, to control. Control someone's emotions. I'm getting really, really like somebody's trying to control somebody's emotions or you feel overwhelmed because you're trying to control your emotions. You're giving this, you're giving this connection some thought. You're giving this some thought. Now we got the Empress here. And the Four of Wands. All right. So it looks like there's growth and expansion here. For some of you, this is a marriage. You could be the wife or this is in concern to the wife um, or husband, vice versa. But I'm, I'm getting an apology coming. Why is the Four of Wands here? This could be someone's mother. Someone could be um, moving in with a, a mother. We got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a baby mother. All right, so somebody pissed you off. And I feel like the way that you view this situation is that it's just too much trickery mind games going on with the seven of swords and the knight of wands it's a lot of mind games a lot of childlike behavior back and forth energy slowing down speeding back up and i feel like you had a crossroad you're not sure how you feel. You're not sure, but you're not sure about it. Because you kind of, cause you kind of like feel alone without this person around you. But you want this time to think. 
Maybe you want to see what this person is going to say, how this person is going to respond. But you're giving this situation a break. You're taking a break for yourself. You know it's the right thing to do. Now, this person's energy is over here. Their energy is the Six of Swords. One day, they're over it. The next day, they're going back to it, thinking about it. But their, their intuition was telling them that you were going to co go back and forth, okay? That they knew, their intuition was telling them that it wasn't going to be solid. Maybe they also knew that you were hiding something from them. They felt like you were hiding something. They feel betrayed. They aren't they aren't communicating with you. They don't want to apologize. I'm hearing like they're trying to make up their mind. Right now things are on hold for them too. Like they're they they'll move on from it, then they go back to it. Like they think they're over it one minute and then the next minute they're going back to it, thinking about it, and then they feel betrayed. They have that sense of betrayal. Like I'm getting like this person is very upset. Okay, I feel like you are still holding on to this connection, but your guard is up, okay? I feel like you want to return to this person and fix things. Um, but the communication needs to open up, okay? Communication definitely needs to be open. And I see you waiting here. I see you waiting. You're waiting for this person to come, like, stand up to you or stand up for themselves. Um, right now, I see you still have a hope for the situation, but you understand that you're in a break period in this. Like, you guys are on a break period, okay? You're on a break period. I see there's a disagreement. You feel like you won this argument. You won this battle. But, you know, you do feel like maybe, you know, like maybe it was overboard a little. Maybe you went a little overboard. Maybe they went overboard. Somebody went overboard. But I see you, you know, taking a break from this connection. I feel like it's just a temporary break. I feel like you want to go back and return to this person but you're taking their time. You're taking your time. You're not in a rush. I think you, you're feeling the stress or um, anxiety of the situation. And you're kind of just taking time for yourself. I think the best thing for you to do is to focus on yourself. Um... You could be hiding this from this person, but you feel victorious. <laughs> you feel victorious in a way. Like, you feel like you you won uh, some type of argument or disagreement. But, yeah, like, I feel like you, you end up communicating with this person. You reach out to this person. I feel like some clarity is going to be gained. But you may be reaching out to this person first. I don't see you wanting to, but, you know, I do see you and this person in communication with each other. I feel like you've been keeping busy, possibly at work, and you're kind of like coming around to the idea of giving this situation another chance, but you're taking your time. You feel like you should have gave this some thought because um, you're kind of like regretting, you're kind of like regretting a decision that you made, but I see you watching and keeping an eye on this person. Um, but you know, you feel like this person to come around right now. I do feel like you may feel like this person is kind of like upset, really upset. I feel like y'all walked away, um, to give yourself some space and create some, you know, space and time for you to think about the situation or make this person think about the situation. So I'm getting like a break period for sure. All right. So let's get this person's intentions towards you. This person's intentions to this person. What's this person's intentions towards cancer? Talking. They want to talk to you. This person does want to communicate with you. They want to hear what you have to say. 
They want to hear from you. You got a mirror. This person could be mirroring your energy. Um, they could be mirroring you. They're mirroring you. They want to talk to you, but if you haven't reached out to them, then they aren't making any effort to reach out either. All right, so we got a girl with the snake and the snake, okay? So this person could feel like gullible or maybe they, they didn't have any boundaries. Maybe they're contemplating on setting up boundaries because they feel like you were a snake. Like I'm telling you, this person feel like you stabbed them in the back. But this person enjoys the romance from, from you, okay? They get a lot of passion. They get their passion fulfilled with you. And they're also looking at photographs of you, like kind of watching you, looking at old pictures, reminiscing. We got kisses that jumped out, but it came out with too many other cards. This is just too many cards. <laughs> This person got a lot to say. All right. Yep. This person is watching you. They're watching, looking, stalking. Um, they're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. This person is addicted to you. You got addiction here at the bottom of the deck. There may be some type of codependency um, issue or thing going on where this person may need you. Um, they depend on you for something. So they're keeping a close eye on you. They feel like you are running. Okay, like they're running and they really, really like you, but they feel like you're running away from them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's the message that I have for the cancer. If this message resonates with you, be sure to hit the like button as well as comment, share and subscribe. All right. So until next time, guys, ciao for now.